competitive pricing strategy focuses on matching your price with your competitors. The idea is that the market has already defined the right price for a product, and in a competitive environment with different firms selling similar products, their price should in theory be at an equilibrium where the supply satisfies the demand. By setting the same price as your competitors, a newly launched firm can avoid the trial and error costs of finding the right price. However, as every company is different, and especially its supply chain, so are its costs. Therefore, the main limit of the competitive pricing method is that it fails to account for these differences, such as production, purchasing, sales force, etc. As a result, this method can potentially be inefficient and can lead to reduced profits. Price, in itself, is a signal. We all know that higher quality products are typically more expensive than low quality products. If a firm wants to get market share, it may aim to have one of the lowest prices on the market. On the other hand, if the goal is to create a successful brand image, it might be more effective to sell higher priced products to signal a better quality to the consumers. The competitive pricing method is simple because competitors' prices are most often publicly displayed and it is therefore easy to copy them, as well as it seemingly bypasses the risk of guessing an inefficient price. When products are identical or highly similar, as is widely the case in retail industries, it is often simpler to copy competitors' prices rather than implement another pricing strategy. This way, it is the competitors that have already incurred the costs of finding the optimum price. On the other hand, if the products are only somewhat similar, the price is hardly transferable. The main challenge is thus defining one's competition, establishing congruency between products, as well as collecting and analyzing the data. According to classical economics, two products are congruent if a consumer can replace a quantity of one product by a quantity of another product without experiencing any loss in product utility. In reality, it can be quite difficult for a retailer to define congruency when comparing its products with those of its competitors. Are the different brands of smartphones, for example, really congruent? The main issue with competitive pricing is that it can lead to missed opportunities, as it can create a situation whereby all the players in a given market are blindly using the same pricing. This can also create price battles that race to the bottom. Make sure you define your competition carefully, analyze the congruency between yours and their products, and keep in mind that price, in itself, is a signal about the product when defining a pricing strategy.